What is up guys? We are back with another video here on Ammonia Aquatics and Reptiles and today I am sitting in front of my 75 gallon tank but we're not really talking about this tank, more so the basics of this tank which means the filter, the lights, and the heater. Um, we would talk about the substrate and all the decorations but that's really all a personal preference that depends on your call. Uh, but generally you want to, but generally uh, every fish tank you ever see is going to have a heater, filter, and light on its end. These are the things that we're going to talk about today. So, when you have your fish tank, you're going to put the, the filter on it. And I'm not going to talk about any particular size here. I'm just going to talk about, um, I'll use a 10 gallon tank as a point of reference at some points in the video, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm not really going to talk about any size tank in particular. I'm just going to more so tell you how to gauge what size filter, heater you need, and light you need for your tank. <clears throat> so, you're going to want the filter uh, to hold enough biological, uh, biological and mechanical filtration in it in order to provide enough uh, clarity and uh, stabilization for your tank. Um, that's not really the part you want to worry about that much though. How I typically judge the size of my filter is more so based off of a small mathematical equation uh, that is pretty much said to say, I want my fish tank to cycle the water, all of the water in the tank, not just some of it, all of it in the tank, uh, between six and nine times an hour. Um, a lot of people recommend three times an hour, that or two. Uh, it will mean that you have a smaller filter at that point. Uh, I say six to nine because it helps clarify the water and keep everything very good. And if something does happen to go wrong, uh, it can help uh, minimize the issue uh, a little bit more. With the filter size, I said six to nine times an hour for the entire cycle of the tank, to, for the entire water of the tank to go through the filter an hour point of reference for a 10 gallon tank that means between 60 and 90 gallons per hour is what you're looking for for a flow rate on your filter <laughs> anyways now we're going to talk about the heater heaters a typical rule of thumb for me is you want to do them is you want to make sure that for every one water one gallon of water you have five watts of heating power so for a point of reference again on a 10 gallon tank you want to have a 50 watt heater this will work perfect for it. It'll have the water temperature at a good uh, temperature uh, for the fish. Uh, there are a lot of ones out there that do come with presets in them where you can't adjust them. You just put them in, plug them in, and they preset the water temperature to, I think it's like 78 for some of them. That will be more than okay for most, if not all the fish you're going to want to keep, uh, especially if you're just getting into the hobby. Um, Next thing I want to talk about is the lighting. The lighting should span the entire length. Now, I'm pretty sure a 10 gallon tank is 24 inches or 20 inches long. Typically, you want to have the light spanning from one edge to the other edge, the long way going this way. Uh, just because then you know you have nice lighting going across the entirety of the tank and not just a certain middle section. Uh, front to back setting really doesn't matter of how far front to back you put it. Um, it will just it, it all depends on what you like the shadow to be on more. Um, as far as decorations go, it's all about personal preference, and it doesn't particularly matter what you get uh, as long as uh, you're happy with it and the fish are happy with it. Now, mind you, when you put a fish tank in your room, you want it to be something nice to look at. Uh, especially if it's going to be one of those high traffic areas like this one is in a living room. Um, you want to make sure that it's going to be nice and pretty so when people come into it, they're almost wowed by the idea of you having a fish tank. Um, but, I mean, again, this is all personal preference stuff. Uh, you can do whatever you want for decorations. I'm not going to sit there and tell you you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this. Uh, the only thing I will suggest, though, is that if you plan on keeping a bottom dweller, uh, to have some sort of cave in there for them or something for them to hide under. Um, 
and those do just fine. But generally, it, the decorations are all up to you. Now, once you have all that stuff, uh, you want to put the filter on more towards the center of it. You want to put the heater close to that as well, uh, just so that way the water will pass through it. And so basically what happens when we put the filter in the middle, it'll create almost like a whirlpool on both sides of the filter and go like this, essentially. And if you have your heater right there too, it'll heat the entire thing, very, the entire tank very evenly and very nicely. Um, and then whatever decorations you want to put in there, then you put your lid on, your light, if they're not uh, all in one, uh, they make uh, all in one lights uh, with integrated into the hood or the uh, cover for your tank. Uh, those work very well too. Uh, usually they'll have some sort of little feeding hole, the uh, feeding cover you can pull up and um, feed your fish through as well. Uh, so those are actually very convenient and very uh, nice. Um, now as far as the water goes, uh, there's going to be something called the nitrogen cycle that you want to work through. Um, this is going to be what ends up uh, clarifying your water that much more. Um, a fully cycled tank is a lot clearer normally uh, than a uncycled tank. Um, but before we even get to there, we're going to want to talk about the chemicals you put into your water. Um, quick start uh, and Seachem Prime. Uh, neutral regulator. These are all good chemicals to use. I've actually used all of them before. I actually have some of them on hand as we right now Just because I find them to be that much more useful than some of the other ones But the general idea of the chemicals is to detoxify uh, The harsh chemicals in the water to make it fit uh, fish safe uh, You cannot just put tap water into your tank and put fish in there and expect them to survive uh, that is probably one of the best ways to make sure that they don't survive actually uh, and I would highly 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 and strongly 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 recommend that there are chemicals that you put into it um, a quick start is actually a good one because technically speaking if you want to be technical about it you can put fish into it the second you put that you can put you put quick start into your tank um, this is actually a good chemical in my opinion because it does have beneficial bacteria already uh, built into it and will help you uh, cycle your tank a little bit more. Um, for those of you who don't want to use Quick Start, that's perfectly fine. There's other ways to cycle your tank and detoxify everything. Um, another way you can uh, cycle through your tank is to get some sort of food, uh, fish food, uh, and just toss it in toss a little bit in uh, here and there and uh, that will also help cycle your tank. The other thing you can do too is just throw the fish you want to keep in there uh, right away. Uh, this is my least uh, likely option to recommend um, unless you're having that much of a problem cycling your tank. Uh, usually these first two options are going to what are going to be what makes the tank cycle the best um, and start the quickest. Um, but uh, all in all, setting up a fish tank is not that difficult. Um, it might take a little patience for the cycle. Um, it also might take a little money to get yourself going at first. But it will be a very worthwhile and rewarding thing for you to do. And it adds a nice little showcase type of thing to your uh, room that you put it in. In, all, in conclusion, uh, fish keeping is very rewarding and it is very fun. Uh, I love my fish, honestly. Uh, they're pretty much my life sometimes, it feels. Um, but this is a good welcome into the fish keeping hobby and I hope this video was helpful for you. That is all I have for you guys today. Please like and subscribe to my channel and until next time. I will see you later.